What's up Cigar Junkies, it's your boy Ashhead and today we will be smoking the Oscar 2012 Connecticut on Ashhead TV today. To commemorate five years of extraordinary cigar making, Oscar Valadares created this cigar, the Oscar 2012 line, in three variations, the Maduro, the Corojo, and the Connecticut, which we're going to be smoking today to determine whether it is nub worthy or nah. Let's get this cigar cut, let's get it lit up, and let's decide whether it is nub worthy or nah. And we're going to put a V cut, not too deep, but just deep enough. <clears throat> some pepper on the cold draw, along with some sweet tobacco flavors. Drinking a little coffee today. And I will be lighting this cigar with a cedar strip. So requires about two different lights. You gotta light the cedar strip first. And then because it's Connecticut, I usually like to use a softer flame so I will not scorch the wrapper of this beautiful cigar. The Oscar 2012 Connecticut has a US Connecticut shade wrapper, Honduran binders, as well as Honduras and Nicaraguan Fillers. This is a six and a half by 52 ring gauge cigar, which is in the torpedo shape and the box press section. I did have to go to my torch because the wind was blowing out my flame. But being very careful not to scorch this wrapper. And initially this um, cigar has a um, very, very pleasant pull on it. And right off the bat you can taste that creaminess. The pepper that I taste on the cold draw is not even pre present here in the beginning of this smoke. But hey, we're going to smoke it down into the first third and we're going to talk about what we are experiencing in this Oscar 2012 Connecticut. The term nub worthy is subjective. You have to determine for yourself whether a cigar is nub worthy for you or not. So in the comments, let me know if you smoked this cigar before and was it a nub worthy cigar for you? But here in the first third of this cigar, um, initially I tasted some bitter tobacco that went away, that creaminess stayed present in the cigar and now the dominant flavor note is like buttery toast. And somewhat of some floral notes on the retro hail. But I'm gonna smoke this cigar down into the second third and I'll be right back. Here in the second third of the cigar, the construction has been holding on very well. Um, got a little of a slight low angle to the burn, but nothing that concerned me um, very much. So I didn't have to do any touch ups on this cigar. The one thing that stayed consistent was that creaminess, that buttery toast flavor in this cigar. And it has transitioned to where the strength has picked up on the cigar some. 
still making this cigar a very mild cigar but some peppery notes have came or slight peppery notes i should say have came into the cigar making this cigar a very good cigar and pairing very well with the coffee that i'm drinking this morning Looking forward to the final third of this Connecticut and I'll be back to tell you what's going on in the final third once I reach it. Top of the third for this cigar. Everything from the second ter third to the final third has stayed pretty much consistent. That strength has stayed pretty much consistent. That um, buttery toast flavor notes that I was tasting has stayed pretty much consistent. The pepper it's the only thing that has picked up a bit, not so much to it makes the cigar undesirable, but to me makes the cigar more desirable. It is easy to say here at the final third of this cigar that this is a nub worthy cigar for Ashhead Cigar Junkie. I am glad to say that I have found another Connecticut that pairs well with my coffee and that will be a great early morning stick. Again, tell me what you think about this cigar if you smoked it in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will always know every time I post a cigar review or any type of video on Ash Head TV. Ash Head out. Very thick smoke. Peace.